Penicillin prophylaxis in acute rheumatic fever, too many guidelines and hence a lot of confusion. Let me simplify this a bit for you. We have three important guidelines, the AHA, WHO and Indian guidelines. Thankfully for us, WHO and Indian guidelines are on the same page. Now for this purpose, let us divide acute rheumatic fever into three groups. First group with no evidence of carditis. Second group is going to have only carditis but no evidence of rheumatic heart disease. And the third group is going to have rheumatic heart disease. Now first let's see what the AHA tells about penicillin prophylaxis. For the first group, it's going to be 5 and 21. When I say 5 and 21, what do I mean? The first number refers to the duration from the last episode of acute rheumatic fever and the second number is basically going to be the age of the patient. So basically, we should opt for either one of these depending on whichever one is the longest or is going to be more longer lasting. So for the first group, it is going to be 5 and 21. For the second group, it is going to be 10 and 21. For the final group, it's going to be 10 and 40. Now, what does WHO in India say? For the first group, it is going to be 5, but the second number is going to be different. It is going to be 18. For the second group, it is going to be 10, but 25. And for the third group, it is usually until the age of 40 years or lifelong prophylaxis. For most patients with rheumatic heart disease, lifelong prophylaxis with penicillin needs to be considered. So remember these magic numbers 5 and 10 which are uniform across all these guidelines. For the first group it's 5. For the second two groups, for the second and third group it's going to be 10. And as far as the age is concerned, in the HA guidelines it is going to be 21 for the first two groups and it is going to be 40 for the last group. And in WHO and Indian guidelines for the first group it is going to be 18, for the second group 25 and for the final group it is going to be 40 or lifelong. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, refer to the caption below.